It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll get to see a pair of teams who fought multiple times in the Super Bowl. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the New England Patriots next on Madden Football. Autumn has come to New England. No place like it on earth this time of year. We are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway in Foxborough. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The L.A. offense going to go to work for the first time, and it is the veteran Matthew Stafford at the helm in his 16th NFL season and fourth with the Rams. Stafford is one of those quarterbacks who didn't get the credit he deserved for the majority of his career due to the fact he's playing on teams that often didn't make the playoffs. But that narrative emphatically changed when he changed his surroundings and won a Super Bowl with the Rams. He's had a few injuries in the intervening years, but now that he's fully healthy, he plans on getting his team back into the championship conversation. Right to the air, here's Stafford. That's to the tight end, Colby Parkinson. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and three. A first run now for Kyron Williams. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? He barely got the first down, but he got it. There's Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Up the middle, it's Williams. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work.
Here's Stafford. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Again, at Stafford. And he wisely will throw that one away. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. From the gun, here's Stafford. Caught left side, Williams. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. And they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Now Stafford on third and goal. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Puka Nakua from six yards away. And the Rams get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sidelines saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for 10 plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So here come the Patriots to take over for the first time, led out by the rookie, the third overall pick back in April out of UNC, and that's Drake May. And it's been a long time for this franchise entered the offseason desperately needing a young quarterback to build around and plan for the future. And they found their guy in Drake May out of North Carolina. Big arm, great mobility, terrific character. He's everything you're looking for in a quarterback. They may bring him along slowly, but I believe in time, he will be their QB1 and be there for a long time. Gets past one man, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Throwing here is May. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. To throw, it's May. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. 
They should put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Third and three. They'll run with Gibson. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. This from 44 yards away. Sly able to put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And taken down just shy of the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Ball on the 39. Here's a second and seven. Out of the gun, Stafford. Man open is Robinson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought yeah he might be locked in for this one A shotgun snap for Stafford. Throws to his man on the out round. It's complete. That's Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Second down and three. Now it's Stanford. Connecting with Cup here on the out round. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's the first catch of the game for Cup, and he's got a first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal.
Stafford looks to throw again. Incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Williams is going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Look at a throw, May. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's May. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From the gun on third down is May. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Osborne. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go all over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. This duo locked in, 14 yards there, and a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To the air, May. This one caught by Osborne, right side. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. After one, a 14 to three ball game. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. Ball on the 28 yard line. Here's a second down and four. A quick throw caught out wide by Bourne. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. They'll throw with May. He finds Douglas complete. So just three yards on the completion there, and that'll make it second down. They'll look to throw again. Complete, Hunter Henry with the ground. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Gibson is into the end zone. Touchdown, New England. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here, and they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. They begin the drive with Williams. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and eight. Now Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And this will wind up being a third and three. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. They'll come up now third and three. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cup, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and four. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Throwing is Stanford. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't it. change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. From the shotgun, it's May. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and ten.
Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at the 34. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's into the hands of Parkinson, the tight end. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Second down and four. Stafford now to throw. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game. And he's got a first down. And the throw and the catch were just fine. But against zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Off of play action, here's Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Again, at Stafford. Quick throw, that's complete on the inside slam. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 17, here's second and four. To throw is Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. New England on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Now a play fake it at Stafford. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. And this one is right through, and that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. So from the 37, here's second and a couple. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 
A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. From the shotgun, May with it. He finds his man complete. That's Douglas. A good position to be in here, second and inches. A give for Stevenson, running right. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Throwing here is May. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and 10. To throw, it's May. Open man, that's Henry. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Here's May. That is caught. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Looking to throw, May. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. To the air, May. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the sack means it's third and goal now from the 10. Back to throw here. The Rams gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Sly able to put this one through. So three points on the board is easy a field goal that you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. 
I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford set to take over once again. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Here's second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Well, the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. A give to Gibson running right. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Stevenson gets it again on second down. 
And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll drop to throw. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Fourth down, here's May. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. So they convert on fourth, and now from just outside the 30, here's first and 10. They'll throw with May. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that's where you're counting on a receiver's size being an advantage. They were hoping he could go over the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. Now it's second and 10. From the gun, it's May. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Sly able to put this one through. And that'll bring him back within a point. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. He'll look to Williams to begin things. Escapes the defender. And he's going to have a Rams first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Now it's Stafford. Underneath, caught by the tight end, Allen. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. 
It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second and six. Here's Stafford. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Now Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 30. A gain of 22. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. To the air again, Stafford. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So that's going to move them half the distance. First of all, you can't jump in this situation, but think about your play calling now could easily change what you want to do and maybe make things a little bit easier. From the gun, here's Stafford. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Throwing again is Stafford. And it's complete. He's got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Demarcus Robinson. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are able to widen their advantage. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that drives seven plays in length, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air and he'll be stopped up at the 25 and the Patriots gearing up to go now and last time able to get three it's not what they wanted they wanted six but they got at least something they mustered something out of the drive they'll take it just I, I like the way you've described it not ideal but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Straight ahead, Gibson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 53 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. And they run the option here on first and 10. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. He finds Douglas complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On play action, May. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Rams offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. So that time, they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Second and 11 now. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. 
And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off a of play action. Here's Stafford. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Raekwon McMillan. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Up the middle, it's Williams. 52 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. The Patriots going with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. Now Stafford. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. From the shotgun, it's May. Short pass caught by Henry. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. That's Bourne. Got it on the slant. With a quick slant. Good for eight and a first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. 38-yard line, second and nine. He'll drop to throw. Open man is born. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On third down, here's Stevenson. Now he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. 
might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. They'll go. It's Gibson. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. The slot man in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Throwing here is May. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. The best defensive lineman. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Douglas, the man in motion. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. From the two now, second and goal. To throw, it's May. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. K.J. Osborne. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. May going to try to throw for it. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And now the Rams have got it. Goal the other way.
Well, that two-point attempt failed due to the fumble, but uh, people can't see this, but you've got, you've got a ball in your hands now, and you've got a thing locked in pretty well. You've got it covered up. I love having a football in the booth. I always hang on to it. It makes me feel like I actually played back in my day. Well, you probably could have. If you had run that play, you would not have fumbled. I can tell you that. Maybe. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score. But bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And that's just an ideal run to start this drive because they're in full ball control mode now. So if you keep ripping off seven, eight, nine yards of carry, you're going to have a great chance of finishing off this game. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. This one swung out to Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Out of the gun, Stafford. That is incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. New England trying to get a place on offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game. First and ten here. The drive will start with an option going left. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. To the air, May. Short pass caught by Henry. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. I give up the middle to Gibson. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. 
They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, <laughs> they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. Back to Stevenson on first down. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. We're going to throw May. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's May. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Douglas. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A big play here, third and two. The tight end, Henry, here in motion. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation... Should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll come up now on second down. They'll run the jet sweep with Douglas. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's third down and five. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A bit of extra pressure now for this one on Joey Sly. This for the lead in the final stages. Sly able to put this one through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So now Stafford and the Rams down by one. A minute 14 to go. Now their lead is evaporated, but they still have a shot on first down.
Now Stafford. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. At this stage, you've got to hustle. got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. Now it's Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Now second and four. Stafford now to throw. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Here's first down. He's back to throw. His throw incomplete. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition working in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. Here now, second and 10 from the 13. Now a handoff, here's Williams. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. So a very interesting final chapter to this proverbial book here in this one because they were in field goal range, could have won it with a field goal, elect to go for the touchdown. I still don't know what they were doing. As great as this game was and as dramatic an ending as we had, the post-game press conference is going to be key because they're going to be asking Coach, why not a field goal attempt there? You got an opportunity to win it right there with your, with your guy, and instead you run another play. Yeah, we might need to stop by that press conference on our way out the back door here. Yeah, just slow down the 